Welcome to the narrowboat that James built. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. Right, let's crack on in the bow. The piece I've got to do now is this end bit. Um, I'm not sure kind of what height I really want these slopes to come up to yet. Um, I think it's going to be kind of the same height as where the gunnels kind of are down here. So I think there is a, there is a kind of a natural line. You can see it if you're standing kind of further back there. So I'm going to cut this to 81 just so it's kind of similar-ish to where it currently is now. Um, but the tricky thing for what I've got to do here is that the walls kind of come in on an angle. So if I was to cut this square, or you know, if, if the angle of the blade was to go in square, it, it's not going to sit in snugly. So what I wanted to try to do is mitre the angle of the cut um, which on some jigsaws you can adjust on this one well I think actually you can but I can't really be bothered I think it should be easy enough because I don't need much I'm just going to kind of cut it on an angle and just tilt it in a bit Fortunately, I've got quite a few bits of uh, spare of this. to trim it a little bit obviously so it fits in at the top there um, obviously it's not true so that needs to how am I going to do this then? that needs to come up a bit so that needs to come back a bit why do I get the feeling this is going to be the best fit I achieve Oh well, it's got to have to be better than that. I'm trying to do it as one piece to give this lower part some rigidity. But in doing so, obviously, it doesn't make it easier. If I was just to cut in panels, then that's a lot easier. I might still have to do that. But in fairness, I've got the angles now, because that one's right, and that one's right. It's just that one there. Right, 
right so the board that i made i've cut in half well, i've cut it cut it up a bit um because i want to make sure that that angle there i got right and that angle there i got right i'm going to then take these boards off obviously i've got the height completely wrong so i'm going to take them off and then use them as a template but, I'm, but whilst they're in place i'm just going to make all these measurements across make it as a template and then continue the angle down to there on the new board and hopefully that'll work right so i've cut this piece out again using the other two bits as templates and it goes in much better this time um it's kind of i've scribed it to the ceiling as well so what i'm thinking of doing but it's i mean it's tight and flush at the top there but at the bottom it's probably out by a, a good few inches so i'm thinking of screwing at the top drilling screwing at the top and fixing it in place then much like i did on some of these other boards using the multi-tool looking at the shadows coming through where the light's bleeding through and trimming it ever so slightly back so it kind of nudges in place so it fits flush with the rest of the panel i've cut this to 75 so i've kind of that's this this is probably going to be the height of where this comes up to so that slope will kind of meet that if it has to come up a bit higher then so be it but i'm going to put that in place now and see if this works Well, today was one of those days. Um, it started off pretty promising with the with the uh, panel in the bow bedroom. Um, I always had to go down to London today to pick up the kids from school and to see them, which is obviously lovely. Um, but my plan was to come back with enough daylight so I could trim back those panels. Um, but my uh, Dagenham dustbin um, or Ford Fiesta had a different idea. Um, and the clutch gave up the ghost. So a new clutch later, thank you to uh, to Simon and the mechanics for getting that all sorted so quickly um, and uh, for getting me back on the road. I'm back at the boat, which is good. Um, but yeah, I kind of lost half a day doing that. Um, and I guess, I don't know, it's, uh, well, it's just, yeah, just one of those frustrations uh, when you kind of stick, when you're kind of up against such a tight schedule uh, to lose time like that is uh is is annoying but anyway got to go back home saw the kids managed to pick up a couple of birthday presents from steve and diane which is lovely diane has given me a sign for the boat it says it's not where you go it's who you travel with which i couldn't agree more 
and I like hanging things in boats. Not many, not too much, because obviously they move and things, but a few bits I quite like. So I like signs like that. So thank you very much for that, Diane. And Steve, mate, legend. That is a brilliant, that is brilliant. I know all of those songs. I can't play them, obviously, but I, I know them all. So uh, thank you for that. Um, it's got tab in there, which is useful because I can't read sheet music. So thank you very much. Um, I also had plans today of putting these in around the boat. I've got different varieties of these. So these obviously chargers, um, power sockets uh, essentially for this boat because that's all I'm having. So I've got two um, USB ones in that one there. So quick charge and just kind of normal. Uh, and then cigarette lighters. A lot of appliances have the version with a cigarette lighter end, uh, like one of these like one of these ends so lots of appliances have them but don't come with just a standard usb so um like apple i think for example they don't have that and hewlett packard they so there's a few where you know it's so it's good to have these certainly for the galley a lot of kitchen appliances will only have cigarette lighter ends. so i've got a whole load of these and i've got 15 of these in total to dot around the boat and the idea is they're going to kind of go under there there's a bit of a the, the, with the cables on the end as well, these are actually quite big. Um, so under here, I've got ample recess. They wouldn't go into the walls because it's just not there's just not enough void behind them. But these will go on there. Um, and yeah, I quite like those solutions, so they're good. Um, passing here yesterday, or actually today, um, was um, was uh, Kelvin and his wife Tina. Uh, and their dog Millie. I gave Kelvin a lift down to Crick the other day um, to help them out because obviously they're moving a boat at the moment and uh, and he sorted me out. So I uh, hope your move went well. I think you went through Foxton today or you're going through Foxton tomorrow, but I hope it all goes very well, you guys. Um, also a shout out to uh, Andy and Lucy. Um, they, for some reason, they posted a picture on Facebook of their new galley that he had put in their boat which just looked like it was it was just stunning absolutely stunning um and i just commented on it saying wow that looks incredible and for some reason they watch this channel i mean i don't know I literally i have no idea why they bother uh, their boat is um in a different league to this but anyway hello guys hope you're well um thanks for watching uh and ian and esther um congratulations you guys i think you just uh getting your boat today or tomorrow anyway i hope it goes well look forward to seeing some pictures anyway tomorrow i will crack on with the bow bedroom trimming up those bits putting some paint on the whole lot and um and then i can move on to other things until then i hope you guys are well look after yourselves bye bye